Easy exclusive. It is a first hand account of what happened during the prison riot at the maximum security prison in Shirley. WBZ's new chief investigative reporter, Cheryl Fiendaka, sat down with one prisoner who was there just days from being released who watched that chaos unfold. It came down to showers. Showers. Simple as that. That's what Anthony, a former inmate, says caused the disturbance at Sousa Baranowski Correctional Center, the state's maximum security prison, where last month inmates went on a rampage. I had a, I mean, a, a really good vantage point. I get the whole view of it, and my food, my food slot was uh, open at the time. So I, I'm just sitting there and uh, on my knees basically watching. You were five days away from getting out after nine years. To watch it, you know, from you know, a bystander's point of view, it was like completely surreal for me. The 28-year-old was wrapping up nearly a decade behind bars for armed robberies, so, telling WBZ the unrest all started earlier in the day when two men from different cell blocks got into a fist fight as they passed each other going in and out to the exercise yard. When the yard time was over, correction officers decided to lock the group in without allowing them to take showers. You're in a cage with the another man for 24 hours a day, you're both disgusting, you know, that you have a cellmate, it's just, it's inhumane. Everybody gets riled up, and uh, it hits a, a natural boiling point. That boiling point, Anthony says, led to a standoff with inmates who rebelled in protest. Do you blame corrections for what happened? Absolutely. Avoid it with a simple yes, you get in a 15-minute shower, that's it, and everybody would have been peaceful and happy. Another day, another day in prison. Anthony called the disturbance an act of civil disobedience and watched from his cell as correction officers took back control of the prison. I've never seen them run in directly and show the short of force, so, show this level of force and you know, beanbag guns, rubber bullet guns, they're coming in and they got laser beams right on you. When it was over, Anthony says correction officers got revenge, destroying everything the inmates had in their cells. No one has a TV left in the entire unit. Guys had nothing to do with it. We didn't have sheets, blankets. We walked around barefoot for several days after this. They cut all our clothes off us like we're animals, walk us down the hallway in our underwear. I went home five days after this. This occurred on a Monday. I went home on a Friday, and I walked out barefoot. This is essentially all I have left after leaving prison for a prison riot. This is all you have from your nine years in prison? Like yeah, a handful of pictures of my girl and my cat. The Department of Corrections says they are investigating several allegations by inmates involving broken televisions and other property. A larger investigation into the entire incident remains ongoing, but so far no correction officers have been disciplined. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.